If you follow these easy steps, you can make your own baby Monstera Adansonii, and it only takes five months. Hey, Lee here, helping you become a better plant parent, and you should save your stem cuttings to produce free plants. A lot of lower leaves had fallen off on my Adansonii, so when I cut this plant back to propagate it, there were a lot of leafless stem segments with aerial roots. So I cut those stems into pieces, making sure that I had an aerial root attached to each section. I'm using rooting hormone on both ends of the stems to help prevent rotting, and I'm coating the aerial root as well. This will help the plant root faster. When you're working with stem cuttings, also known as wet sticks, you're racing against them drying out, so you want them to root as fast as possible. You want to root these in sphagnum moss. Keep your moss damp but never wet. If you've never worked with sphagnum moss before, it's a little bit tricky to figure out how damp it should stay. I'll put a link in the description to a video from Tech Plant. He's one of my favorite plant channels and he does a really great job of explaining how wet to keep sphagnum moss. I'm just using this shallow takeout container that has no drainage. I'm layering the damp moss at the bottom and I'm starting to place my cuttings on top. Place your cuttings in the brightest, warmest spot that you can. You're gonna wanna avoid direct sunlight. We also need really high humidity so you can put a lid on top of the container. There's no need to shut it because your plants will need to breathe. After 40 days, you should start seeing some really good root development and that's when I took my cuttings out of the moss. Depending on the quality of your stem cuttings, you will also have some that fail to root and that's okay. You are gonna throw them out anyways and this is what learning how to be a better plant parent is all about. Five out of my eight cuttings rooted. Now, getting cuttings out of the sphagnum moss can kind of be a pain, but I recommend using lukewarm water to help you out. Get as much of the large pieces off as you can first, then start to gently pull off the rest of the moss in water. It's really important to get as much of the moss off as you can, because when you're ready to plant these, the moss can actually retain a lot of water and make your roots start to rot. I wanted to see how my cuttings would do in soil versus LECA, so I split my cuttings up into two different groups. The longer cuttings I'm putting into soil because they won't fit across my small net pot, and my three smaller cuttings are going straight into LECA. I'm using my custom potting mix for monsteras and philodendrons, a mix of potting soil, perlite, orchid bark, horticultural charcoal, and worm castings. Check out my video on that for more details. At 140 days since my first cutting, they're finally starting to produce their first leaves. And after five months and 16 days, my first leaf has finally unfurled and I'm gonna name this plant the baby. Now, I don't think that this should take five months because I made the choice to take my cuttings towards the end of fall where my plant growth really started to slow down. The lack of sunlight and colder temperature really slowed this growth. I suspect had I taken these cuttings in the spring, I could probably cut my time in half. If this video was helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.